Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, it's your girl, it's your girl, Nay. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been so, 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 so long. Like, honestly, when I look at the last time I recorded a video, it was like seven months ago. But today I'm going to be doing a video about why you should read the Bible and why it's important to read the Bible. It's a really powerful topic. So I hope you guys enjoy. So if that interests you in any way, please remember to like this video. Please comment that you like this video. And then also subscribe to my channel so we can get to 1,000 subscribers or whatever subscriber account that I'm on right now. So thank you. So the first reason why I think it's very important to read your Bible is because of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. And I have my laptop here, so I'm going to look this way to quickly read it for you guys and then we can talk about it. So Joshua 1 8 says in NLT, so NLT is New Living Translation. There's different translations of the Bible. I prefer NLT, which is New Living Translation, or KJV, which is King James Version. So it says in NLT, study this book of instruction continually. So it's talking about the Bible. The Bible has instructions for us to carefully look through, carefully read. Meditate on it day and night. So you'll be sure to obey everything written in it. So it's basically saying read and meditate, actually think about the verses day and night. And then you'll be sure to obey everything that's written inside the book of life. Amen. So there's even this one verse that I've been meditating on, which is Romans 6, chapter, Romans chapter 6, verse 6, verse 7. And NIV version, New International Version says, For we know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with, that we should no longer be slaves to sin, because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. So the truth about the world is without Jesus, you're literally a slave to sin, like addictions, things that are bad for you, sin, anything that's bad. Do you know what I mean? But when you give yourself to Christ, you're literally set free. And I feel like when you're a slave to sin, you're like in a prison. You're literally in a prison. But when Jesus comes into your life, you're literally let free, allowed to leave that prison. So, wow. I mean, that verse, I've been meditating on it. I've been thinking about it. I've been visualising it. I've been breathing it. I've been trying to live it. Like, I'm not a slave to sin. Do you know what I mean? And then that's NIV. And then NLT says, and as he says, we know that our old sinful selves were crucified with Christ so that sin might lose its power in our lives. We are no longer slaves to sin. For when we died with Christ, we were set free from the power of sin. I'm going to read that one more time. We know that our old sinful selves. So before, I can't be living in sin if that's my past life. I need to be now crucified with Christ so that sin might lose power because when you're not crucified with Christ sin has power over you your flesh has more power over you than the spirit does we are no longer slaves to sin I am no longer a slave to sin amen for when we die with Christ we were set free from the power of sin amen so you have to believe all these things and I just love that so much on the days powerful so yeah Joshua 1 8 the reason why it's important to read your bible and meditate on it is meditating on it allows you to live it, allows you to breathe it, allows you to realise that you don't have to be stuck in the same situation anymore. Like, let's say I'm battling with a sin. I read Romans 6, verse 6 to 7, and I breathe it and I read it and I love it. It allows me to believe it. And the way I believe it, it sets me free. So studying the book of instruction, reading what God's commands are and living it allows you to have everlasting life. Amen. So only then... After you study the book of, like, study, like, the same way you study for an exam is the same way that God wants you to study the Bible. Wow. Study this book continually, not even just once or twice a day. Like, what's every month continually. It has to be a, con like a consistent thing. Only then, only then after you've been doing that, you will prosper and succeed in all you do. Wow. I mean, who doesn't want to prosper and succeed in all they do? So yeah, that verse is powerful. So that's one of the reasons why it's important to read your Bible because it allows you to live and know that you are free and it allows you to understand the Bible. To understand, it allows you to understand that God's words are in the Bible. It says that, um, let me 
find it. So Hebrews 4.12 says, For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. So while you read the word of God, it's alive and it's powerful. And it's sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword. So that's why you're able to read a, a verse and you're like, Oh my, I need to stop doing this or I need to start doing this. I need to start praying continually. Like that's why the Bible, because it exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. It's alive and it's powerful. I mean, the Bible is amazing. So yeah, even when I'm speaking, I'm speaking life into you. But I just listen to me. You're sp I'm speaking life into your life and teaching you that meditating on the word of God is the only way to succeed and prosper in all that you do. Continually studying the word of the God, the word of God. That's why it says that. That's why it's really important. It's really important to not neglect your Bible. It's really important to know that this is the importance of reading your Bible because it allows you to live a different life. It allows you to meditate on verses. Amen. So my second reason, this video is going to be quite a little bit short because I've been gone for too long to be coming with a long video, but just wait on me. Wait on me. I'm going to be just wait on me, just wait on me. Okay. The second reason why I think it's really important to read your Bible is because in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, it says, that's the whole story. Here now is my final conclusion. So in this book, in this book, um, Ecclesiastes is my favourite, 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 favourite book. Um, what's that? <laughs> Yeah, so King Solomon uh, wrote Ecclesiastes, and King Solomon was the wisest man on earth. And um, you can read all about him. He was really wise, like God gave him wisdom. I think God asked him what did he want, and he could have asked for anything. And I think he didn't ask for anything that was materialistic, and God just blessed him. I think he was, was he David's son as well, yeah. And David had found favour with God. So, yeah. So, King Solomon, wisest man on earth, rich. Okay, so he says, and because he was, because he was the king, and because he was rich, and because he was wise, he was able to explore both foolishness and wisdom, and see which one is better off in your life. Doing is it better to be foolish, or is it better to be wise and live a life in a wise way? And he concludes after exploring that with the wisdom that God has given him. So he, God has given him wisdom. Like no one will ever be as wise as King Solomon was. And Solomon concludes about life in general that fear God and obey his commands. What does fear God, what does the fear of God mean? It means just to remember that God is everywhere. God sees everything. We know that God is holy. So we have to live in a holy way. We have to live in a way that's pleasing unto him. Obey his commands. What are his commands? Then you look at the Ten Commandments. I'm going to even type them up and we can quickly go through that. The Ten Commandments says, you shall have no other gods before me. You shall have no other gods before me. So no other gods, just God. Jehovah Jireh, that's it. And then number two, you shall not make any idols. So nothing, not making any like craft that you're worshipping, any, putting anything before God is an idol, anything. Spending more time with anything is an idol that you're making before God. And number three, you should not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. So you should never say God's name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So that's, um, I think we sub the Sabbath day for us is Sunday, but I think back in the day it used to be Saturday. So just keeping the day holy, going to church. Mm -hmm. Number five, honor your father and mother. And it says even in other um in other scriptures it says that that's what will allow you to have long days on earth. Number six, you should not murder. You should not kill someone. But it even says that hating someone is the same as murdering. The Bible, Jesus says. And then number seven, you should not commit adultery. And number eight, you should not steal. Number nine, you should not bear fear, false witness against your neighbour. And number ten, you should not covet. So, 
yeah so it says fear god and obey those commands that he set out just obey those commands and tell okay but this is everyone's duty everyone no one else is no one is exceptional from that me you everyone like we have to fear god and obey his commands because god will judge us i said because but it says here god will judge us for everything we do and can every secret thing whether good or bad so i mean <laughs> When you hear us like that, it just it 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 just hits home. It literally just hits home. So yeah, it just hits home. That's a powerful verse. But yeah, that's one of the other reasons why you should read your Bible because fearing God is getting to know God and knowing what He doesn't like and obeying His commands is reading. It's really it's really reading the Bible, and that's everyone's duty. And God will judge us for everything we do, including every secret thing, whether good or bad. So if in your spare time you're reading the Bible, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. God will judge us and God will be happy about that. So yeah, I just want to finish with one remaining verse to myself. So it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27, I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I might myself be i might myself i myself might be disqualified so i just pray for grace and humility that if god has told me that i have to preach on my channel let me remember that i have to be very very humble because being a christian is not easy but i have to just put my body like an athlete training it to do what it should otherwise i fear that after preaching to others i might myself be I myself might be disqualified. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please comment down below what other videos you would like from me. And remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this video. Lots of love. Me. Bye guys. Thank you.